Meghan Markle officially launched her long-awaited podcast Archetypes on Spotify last week, with a host of celebrities set to feature over the 12-part series. The second episode was released on the streaming platform earlier today, August 30th and saw the Duchess of Sussex in conversation with music icon Mariah Carey. The singer-songwriter opened up about her life and career on the podcast, including discussing her diva reputation as well as her experience growing up as someone mixed race. Podcast host Megan shared details of her own experiences in the latest episode, with there having been a number of bombshells during the tell-all interview with Mariah. MTV Cribs and Diva demands are just a laugh from telling off a backing singer for stealing her thunder to her iconic MTV Cribs tour in high heels, Mariah said she loves living up the The Diva title during her 30 years in the spotlight. Mariah said, Honestly half of it is just for laughs. They can call you whatever they want, but whatever. I'm not looking for basic, pedestrian. I know I go a little over the top but in this era, it's okay. Meghan says racism exploded after dating Harry as her world really shifted elsewhere in the interview, Meghan said she wasn't treated like a black woman until she first met Prince Harry. The Duchess said things shifted once she started dating her 37-year-old husband back in June 2016. Mariah said, I think for us it's so different because we're light-skinned, you're not treated as a black woman, you're not treated as a white woman, you sort of fit in between. Meghan responded, I mean if there's any time in my life that it's been more focused on my race, it's only once I started dating my husband. Then I started to understand what it was like to be treated like a black woman, because up until then I had been treated like a mixed woman and things really shifted. Mariah calls Meghan a diva Mariah stunned the Duchess when she said she too was a diva. You give us diva moments sometimes Meghan. Don't even act like, she said. Meghan responded with, what kind of diva moments do I give you? The songstress added while laughing, don't act like you. It's also the visual, saying Meghan wouldn't get as much attention as she does if it not for her gorgeous looks and glamorous replies. Meghan then replied, oh it's the look. Meghan admits she felt defensive at being called a diva in her voiceover, Meghan later admitted she started to sweat when Carrie called her a diva, and offered a response to the pop star's remarks. I mean really well, until that moment happened, which I don't know about you but it stopped me in my tracks. When she called me a diva. You couldn't see me obviously but I started to sweat a little bit. I started squirming in my chair in this quiet revolt like wait, what? No what? How could you? That's not true. Why would you say that? My mind genuinely was just spinning with what nonsense she must have read or clicked on to make her say that. I just kept thinking in that moment, was my girl crush coming to a quick demise? Does she actually not see me? So she must have felt my nervous laughter and she jumped right in to make sure I was crystal clear when she said diva, she was talking about the way that I dress, the posture, the clothing. The quote unquote fabulousness, as she sees it. She meant diva as a compliment but I heard it as a dig. I heard it as the word diva. As I think of it, but in that moment as she explained to me, she meant it as chic, as aspirational and how one very charged word can mean something different for each of us. It's mind-blowing to me. Mariah felt ugly growing up mixed race Mariah recounted how she felt like she never fit in growing up because she is mixed race. 
The singer was born in 1969 in New York to her mother Patricia, née Hickey, a former opera singer and vocal coach of Irish descent, and Alfred Roy Gary, an aeronautical engineer of African-American and black Venezuelan-American lineage. Mariah explained why she embraces being the ultimate diva, with the glamour and pomp, as she said, I felt like an ugly little girl who didn't fit in with anybody. The diva thing continues to evolve and it's just for laughs. Mariah's tough childhood in the interview, the songstress candidly opened up about her childhood and the difficulties she faced being mixed race. Mariah said, I lived with my mom. We moved like 14 times. We had nothing no money, no nothing. I didn't fit in anywhere at all. It would be more of black area of town or where my mom chose to live where the more white neighborhoods. The songstress recalled a particularly nasty moment at school where a boy taunted her. She said, I remember being in school in this predominantly white neighborhood where my mom felt comfortable and I tried my best to feel comfortable. But this kid was in the hallway and he said, Mariah has three shirts and she wears them on rotation and it was true. I mean the fact that he noticed that him like why you so obsessed with me. In a world where you are the mixed kid of a full on white neighborhood that is what you get. Mariah speaks about witnessing domestic abuse Mariah spoke candidly at feeling like she had to be the savior from as young as six as she watched her mother be a victim of domestic abuse. They moved house 14 times in New York with her mother having a string of failed relationships. I've always been ambitious, she said, saying it stemmed from having to be the savior in her childhood and call for help when her mother was knocked unconscious. I was you know calling my mom's friends to help her out, saying she's been knocked out. I watched her fall down on the floor. I saw that and thought here's not what I'm going to do. The ambition came from that. Singer's first marriage breakdown was a pivotal moment Mariah met Sony Music executive Tommy Mottola, who was 23 years her senior, when she was just 18 trying to get her big break in the industry. They tied the knot when she was 23, but they divorced in 1998, with the songstress later claiming she felt controlled within the marriage. Mariah describes her sixth studio album Butterfly as the pivotal moment in my life where she entered a new era and saw her success catapult. Leaving the past life that I had with my first ex-husband behind was extremely difficult, she said. My first marriage I was very much locked away and was sort of given the rules and had to stick with them. Butterfly wasn't like Koima Butterfly, it was a song. The lyrics came to me as I was leaving where we lived in this massive mansion, that I paid for half of, people don't know that. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at Web Celebs at Mirror. Co.uk or call us direct 0207 29